you are going to be learning about erosions and depositions. And for this lesson, you should be able to explain and give examples of how erosions and depositions change the Earth's surface. So what is erosion? Weathering breaks down the Earth into smaller pieces, and erosion is moving the pieces of the Earth. Weathering and erosion actually work together to form this cycle or system, and usually one comes before the other and vice versa. Some of the main causes of erosion are water, wind, and ice, and these are so common, uh, commonly ways to get sediments moved on the surface of the earth. First, we have wind. Wind can carry many small pieces of rocks and other sediments as it blows through the air. Wind can take sand in a desert to form a sand dune. Second, water is another agent of erosion. It can carry many objects that are either small or large with the water flow. River water, for example, can transport rocks all the way down to a river bank, changing the structure of the river. Third, we have ice. Ice in the form of glaciers can move rocks and sediments over thousands, millions of years to new locations. And now we have deposition. So what happens when the sediments of the earth are moving? Well, deposition is when the pieces of the earth are moved and stop at another location on the earth. Here are some examples of deposition. So rivers and streams deposit rocks and sediments along the sides of the river or to the river bank, which basically means the pieces of the earth are eroded or they move. And when they stop moving at the side of the river or at the bottom or at the river bank, they are deposited. The wind can carry finer sediments and drop them off in the mountains or valleys many miles away, and this is another way that they, they are deposited. So here are some questions for you and your partners. What are two causes of erosion? How do weathering and erosion work together? What is an example of deposition?